Hey everyone, welcome back once again to the B-Movie Bonker. Today we're looking at 2014's Call Girl of Cthulhu, brought to us by Chris LaMartina. If you can't tell by the name, this is a bit of a horror comedy. Um, we have the story of a young artist, a virgin artist, who falls for a call girl. Um, and at the same time, there is a cult seeking out who this woman who shall be the bride of of Cthulhu, known by the little cephalopod uh, birthmark that she will have on her ass. Um, this one, it is, it is, it is a bit raunchy, a bit raunchy, uh, a bit bloody and gory. Um, things that seem to work well with the theme that, and and the setup that they were going for. Um, you can't take this movie too seriously. I'm not saying that uh, it's a bad movie. This was this is B movie camp. This is Lovecraftian camp. Um, and I know there's a site to people out there who feel that uh, Lovecraftian stuff should be taken more seriously. It shouldn't be uh, used in parody and stuff like that. Well, you know what? Tough shit, people. It's called. It's in the public domain. If I want to put a tentacle on my penis and whip it around and say that uh, my dick is the god Cthulhu and he's going to devour the earth, I can make a movie out of that because it's public domain. Sorry, that's the way it is, folks. If you don't like it, then make your own serious Lovecraftian film. Um, and I don't think that things, you know, especially when it comes to parody and, and horror and stuff like that, things, there are few things that really would be sacred as far as I'm concerned. Um, I mean, if if it's so sacred it cannot be mocked in any way, eh, I really don't want anything to do with it. Um, and I'm getting off topic. But this one, um, it was fun. I, I enjoyed it. I mean, it is definitely a, a low slash all <laughs> close to no budget movie. Um, and and that shows a bit at times. The acting is the acting is hit or miss. But I mean, uh, for a you know for a true B movie, it's it's definitely uh, in the higher echelon of acting as far as those types of movies go. It's not it's not terrible. And, and apparently that was the right answer. Um, on a scale of one to ten, uh, this one you know I kind of feel it's kind of like online dating. You know. Uh, you don't really know someone just from, you know, you can chat with someone online, you can send messages back and forth, even video chat a bit, but you don't really know that person until you are put in a position where one of you is sought out by a cult, and the other one of you gets caught up in the whole mess, and then there's tentacles, and there's there's cocks being severed, and faces melting, and, and various weird, freaking Lovecraftian STDs uh, that are just, you know, rotten people out from the dick and stuff that's you know that's it's just like online dating exactly like online dating um and I, I had fun with this one i mean you know it's as i said it's cheesy it's campy it's it's raunchy it's goofy it's ridiculous and it doesn't make sense but there's so many i mean the whole film is just nothing but one giant lovecraftian riff i mean from the names of, of the brand of condoms to the chinese restaurant to the church it's all just one big riff on Lovecraftian type stuff. Um, and if you get a kick out of anything like that, I think you get a kick out of this one. Just remember, this is not meant to be, this is not serious, you know, oh my god, I'm so terrified type horror. This is, ha <laughs> ha, look at that, the dude's cock got bitten off type horror comedy. So, uh, that's all I've got for this one. Until next time, stay safe out there in the wasteland, folks.